Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a little clothes peg gun. And I'm sure lots of you have seen these before on other channels or just on a how-to website. But the model I'll be making for you today is very unique, easy to make, and as you can see here, is made out of a plastic instead of a wooden clothes peg. So for this project, you'll only need a few things. Um, of course, the clothes pins, clothes pegs, whatever you want to call them. I just have a whole package of plastic ones here. I got from the Dollar Amma, I believe, up here in Canada. Also for the gun, you're going to need just a crappy, just little pen. Probably the cheapest ones available would do fine. Your ammo, I have skewer sticks, just go off sticks, whatever. But toothpicks or matches would probably work too. A little pocket knife that has a saw blade and definitely a knife blade. A pair of sharp scissors and some electrical hockey or duct tape. That's all you need. For the first step, you're going to want to grab your little plastic clothespin and simply break it apart by twisting and maneuvering one of the pieces off like that. And right away you'll be left with something that looks just like this. So unlike most videos that require you to make 5,000 notches just to shoot a little toothpick, we're only going to make one. So all you have to do, um, if you haven't seen one of these before, this will, this will act as your trigger and this is your firing mechanism. So by pulling this back, you'll understand hopefully what I mean. Obviously it gets harder to pull back. So what I'm going to do is pull it back. This is a lot of tension. Pull it back as far as I can which is about there, as you can see where my thumbnail is. So I'm going to mark that and make a cut in it with a saw. I'll show you that right now. So as you can see, I've made a mark right there. And then with my pocket tool, um, I'm going to either use the knife or the little blade to carve that away deep enough so that this here can rest in it nice and settled. So there's the slot I cut out as you, as you can see there. And so to test this out, all you do basically, pull it back and make sure your slot is big enough so the metal thing sits just, sits just in there and when you push it back, fires like that. Now for the trigger assembly, this really depends on the exact model of your clothespin, if you want to say. So as you can see, mine has a big gap here. So I'll show you for the barrel, I have to make it so it's at least as long as from the end of this all the way back to this part here so it can actually rest instead of if I was like this and were to tape it, it would go up on an angle like this, which is not what we want. So what we're going to do is take apart the pen. You've all seen this before. Basically take out everything until it's a tube and I'm going to cut mine about that long there so it'll look just like that now as you can see the barrel is just a complete tube but the problem with this as you can see is if i were to tape it down like that of course the metal thing would be moved back but there would be the little piece of material in the bottom of the tube sitting on the base of the gun which means uh, the ammo would not be able to fully come in contact with this metal piece here so all we're going to do is take our scissors and cut it, this is actually quite difficult, lengthwise that way, as long as where you're putting it here to the end of here, so it can kind of sink in. I'll show you that real quick. Now as you can see with this shape here, I have cut it out a big notch like that, it doesn't take very long. It can rest nicely in there, so simply get your tape and wrap that in place. So here's the final product. All I've done is taped on the barrel and in doing so I secured the little bar on the bottom and this barrel looks cool and also um, helps keep the ammo close to the surface so that the metal bar can hit it. Now of course you could use hot glue if you cared about aesthetics. I'm not too concerned. I just want to show you guys the simplest way of doing stuff sometimes. So of course for your ammo all you're going to do is take one of your shish kebab sticks, or skewer sticks if you call them that, and pointy side out of course. I'm going to probably cut mine around that long, just simply with a pair of scissors. 
And to shoot, quite obviously, you just shove it in the barrel and let it line up right with the bar right there. Let's go do some shooting tests. Here we go, shooting test with the closed pin gun. Final product again, loaded up with the skewer. We're gonna try and hit that sheet of paper over there. And uh, let's see how we do. Here we go, firing in three, two, one. Miss, let me try again. Here we go, the shooting test. Firing in three, two, one. There you go. Um, so obviously it's not a 50 cal sniper rifle, but fun little project with stuff you probably have around your house. Um, can be modified to make it more powerful probably, but for what we need, just snap her back, pull the trigger, shoots. Uh, much more simple than most of the other ones I've seen on YouTube. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the links my, for my other videos at the end. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.